Uh, Smashville. Uh, nice. Oh. My favorite stage, Smashville. All right, let's get into now, it. Bonkai, as actually, I really like the way he plays Pokemon Trainer, mainly because he switches a lot. Like, a lot of play, people who play Pokemon Trainer, they'll more mess around with just like, oh, you know, I'm playing Ivysaur. Oh, I have to recover high percents. Time to go charge up for three seconds. Oh, uh, low percent. That. I guess I'll do the Squirtle. Um, the way I've seen uh, Bankai more often play the game, this matchup, this is just my... Well, actually, we should get into the match. He did open up Squirtle probably because he needed good frame data to keep up with Venia's amazing speed, frame data, and crazy nonsense. Of course, I'd be sure with that good old range. But at the same time, range is not... Woo! Oh, 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 oh. The double. Oh, we got the double dip. Yeah, so Ivysaur, I was about to say that, like, range doesn't matter that much against Greninja just because of his speed, you know? He is really good at getting in on characters that would normally want to be zoning, and Ivysaur is basically a zoner. Oh, I feel nice. like he does a lot more than that, but... Down air. Yeah, he tried. Venia is doing a good job calling out uh, Bankai's empty jumps, though. Or even just, like, jumping in general. Bankai is familiar with that, though. People trying to jump preemptively to swing. That's why you'll see him throw out a forward air just in the open air once in a while. Oh, no, there's the down tilt forward air connecting. So the way I've seen, are, yeah, just the way I've seen Bankai play the game is he tends to just use Squirtle to get his low percent combos and just go right to Ivy Sword. Because I do feel like that's his uh, all reliable there. I mean, I've seen him experiment like with that. Other things as well. Um, I know. I'll also notice it that less he... less so more, like, more recently, I feel like it's been developing with his Charizard being a little bit weaker overall. People don't of play course. Him, even when it might be the right call. Like, I'm just saying he'll usually use it for the uh, basically early, mid, late stock Squirtle like for Charizard. Or the other one is he'll use Squirtle because then you might get used to that. And then he's like, look, now I'm playing a slow mid-ranger instead of fast, close-range rush time. And then it's like, oh, you're a kill percent. Time to up throw with Charizard. Or just get the up air with Ivy Star, honestly. <laughs> if Bankai could keep up this pace, he's doing a really good job keeping up with Venia. That's fine. Oh, if back throw is also really dangerous. Yeah, uh, Ivy Star has a kill back throw. They all have kill throws, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's going to hurt. He's going to try it. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Shadow Sneak has very little cooldown. But at the same time, he did give up some stage positioning. Uh, Okay, down is this time we're not looking out for him so well. Do you think he... I feel like, no, like, do you think Charizard is maybe the right switch here? I feel like just it's too much of a liability where if he gets hit, he just takes so much damage. And all, well, it's more in all likelihood he's worried about Benny attack dancing all over him. Now's your chance, Charizard. Well, get the little extra recovery and... <gasps> doesn't make it. I'm a little surprised about that. that was, yeah, immediately goes to Ivysaur. I think Bankai just wants to, ooh. Okay, so I was about to say, that's actually a thing that I've seen him do, which is like quick switches. A attack, whiff a move, spot dodge, switch, Charizard up smash. It was just run up down me, I think. No, no, he whiffed a move, spot dodge, Pokemon switched, up smash. Brilliant. I honestly think that that's like the real, I've been trying to play more Pokemon oh. Trainer, um, and I think that the real depth of the character are like unconventional switches. Because it can actually, like, it really can... Oh, oh wait a minute. God. Unconventional That's switches. It. But, yeah, okay. I don't unconventional think it needs switching to be... can be cool, but over-reliable. I don't think it needs to be unconventional. I don't think Bankai's really being unconventional. He's just mm -hmm. doing his thing. But you're right. Yeah. Unconventional switching could be useful. I'm, like, saying for high ceiling, you know? Like, mm. because, like, switching to Charizard and then just, like, throwing out a move can actually, like, work yeah, surprisingly well. Pokemon He's using Pokemon. all 50,000 moves as part of his, an extension of his own body. <laughs> it's just like, wait, I don't have this move right now. Let me just go, go and grab it. All right, we got Final Destination, excellent Greninja stage. Because if he gets distance, he can just throw those stars at you and force you to approach. It's also and pretty good for Ivysaur, because the up air. Oh, of course. I'm saying Greninja, just he can force those approaches. Oh, yeah. Depending on matchup. Like any other stage, you can't, he, he can't force you to... Yo, rip, rip Bankai. Oh. He gets the up B in the wrong direction. Venia instantly did a very good job of recognizing that situation. Jesus Christ. And now he's just going nuts. It's it's Venia time, baby. Now, one thing that Squirtle actually we go. was Ooh. struggling with was dealing with um, 
some of the approach angles that Benio wants to go for. While these coming in diagonally with forward airs, with neutral airs. I, uh, and this, uh, Squirtle, although he has good frame dead, does not fit his hitbox as a way to contest that particular space. He does, though. Forward air is disjointed. It's not as disjointed as Greninja's big old sword, but it's oh, pretty disjointed. <laughs> And also, like, imagine, like, a Grinch just coming down on you. Because he I does know. a lot of these full hops and fast falls at you. Like, what is Squirrel going to do except maybe, like, switch to Ivy throwing up air? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Ah, yeah. Okay, overextending a little bit. This is, we've seen it quite a bit today where, you know, and I, oh, we should mention also that it would be a really big upset if Bonkai Ninja could be Venia here. Of course, but it, I think it's going to be a, on the game three. So we've, uh, but we've seen a couple times like already the today. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter really, but it might. Funkey would have to do something insane to make this comeback. I mean, but he can do it. Have you seen Pokemon Trainer do insane things? Yeah. Oh, Greninja could do some pretty. Yes, I have. <laughs> and Benia takes game two. But Bankai will, just from what I've seen, my analysis of Pokemon Trainer, very flawed, very wrong, but Bankai usually switches off of Squirtle either after he's finished getting his like low percent combos or if he wants to go for a gameplay mix-up. If it's basically like, yeah, this song, uh, the caster here, Devin 3000 rocking his head. And we're breaking those targets today. Ooh, water beats water. Little on Pokemon, in fact. I think the distance on Shuriken ran out. I really thought that. Are you sure that the um, water from Water Gun didn't need it, like, nullify it? Not sure it can, but let's continue. Alright. We'll find out later, maybe. Um, but right now, once again, being back on Battlefield has been pretty alright for Bonkai, managing to deal 85% already, and. Uh, I think just overall playing with these platforms, using the, the, the Ivysaur zoning is a lot more effective on this stage where many can't come in at those angles that we were talking about before. Just the platforms are in the way. I love that switch. Wow. That was so good. I'm telling you, my creative cute switches. But it ain't over stage and see what he does. Nice. Ooh. Read the switch. Got the shadow sneak. Wow. What an interception. Monkey doesn't have to waste his time now to get back to Ivysaur. Oh, nice. He knew the shadow sneak was coming. Or, yep. or maybe he reacted to it. Those of you who don't know, if you uh, if Ivysaur whiffs that up B, you need to switch to Charizard. Like, immediately buffer down B, jump, and up B is Charizard, because otherwise you just fall to your death. Uh, Bankai's trying to play Venia's game here, getting close, hitting fast buttons. And that's about it. For 40 to 50 is just around the percent where Squirtle's confirmed stop working. But his no neutral is still wow. pretty effective. If Bankai had decided down there, that, that would have been a brilliant. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Chasing him down these platforms, you could definitely see that this stage is just a lot better for him. Yes. Unfortunately, Bankai, I think he wasn't expecting him to land on the platform like that. It looked like he was going to go under. <gasps> no way. It's not it yet. Wow. It is. Gets the gimp. Very fast movements. That Ivy oh. Short Downer is just so Bankai's, effective. Benny is looking for something. He's looking for like a raw smash. Or, an, or a forwarder. All right, he gave up on it. Oh, here it is. Ooh. Ooh, he might want to get off Charizard because I think he just put himself back into. Never mind. Ooh. Charizard's a big boy. Well, not that. Because he's heavier, he put himself back into down tilt up smash percents. Wow. wow nice grab. That. Oh, that's right. Greninja's sort of his kill throws changed. Yeah, I, the up throw doesn't really kill anyone. Yeah, it didn't work on Ivy, but then he switched to Charizard. That's also a thing about Pokemon Trainer, is that a lot of these characters that have percent specific confirms, if you know the confirms, you can just switch to, you know, one of your characters it, that has yes. a completely different weight class. Wow. So it's not fair. It hits it with excellent precision. Ninja's moves are not the easiest to hit with. They have those very narrow hitboxes, especially forward air. There we go. Long this is the part. I know, but this is the part where Venia gets a nice big string. Possibly not. This is Bonkai really wants this win. You can see it. He's, He's gonna try it down air. 
Then he was smart though. He was waiting. He wanted to make. He wanted to check to see if uh, Bunkai would try it. So he did a really, really late up a. Then he is, is playing smart there right now, given his situation, but he needs to get something there we go. really started. Being in Charizard form nice. is Is that it? Yes, it is. Wow. Then he had DI'd the wrong right, too. He went straight up. I don't think any DI would have saved him. Well, Bankai is the winner. Everyone did great. Everyone yeah. did great. <laughs> Even Charizard. Charizard got, like, two kills. Yeah. Uh, All right.